Okay, let's continue on. I guess we could try and make our glass sides for our cockpit. So, let us go ahead and grab a sphere. And let's draw out a sphere. Just roughly how big do we want this. That's looking okay. We'll say 1.3 meters by 1.3 meters by 1.3 meters. Now we have this sphere. I guess you could actually you could leave it like that if you want. <laughs> if you have, it depends on the look you're going for. I mean, there's all kinds of directions you can go from here. So uh, that's actually a little big. So let's knock it down. That looks more more like it right there. Okay. So now let's even this up a little bit. Let's go ahead and select some polygons. So well no, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rotate this thing. So our polygons are this way, lined up th up and down this way, instead of the other way. Okay, now I'm going to go in and select some polygons. I'll select these ends here. Like this. I will, for now, excuse me, I'll select the ones up to the middle. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Like so. Now we can invert our selection and delete. And here's what we got. Now we'll worry about the middle section here in a little while, but not right, actually right now. So let's go ahead and delete a few of these polygons to separate these out. Like so. Okay. So now Let's go ahead and I'm going to take these and cut them out and put them on a whole new mesh item just to get them out of the way. Let's get a new mesh item. Let me select these so they won't be so distracting. I'll paste them in there. Okay, now we don't have nothing to worry about. We'll just work on one side. makes things a lot easier for you guys. Okay, so now let's concentrate on this one deal here. Let's pull it back. Like so. Maybe increase the radius a tad bit. Okay, now let's select this loop and let's do a loop slice. I'm going to do a count of one free. And I'm just going to place it up close to the edge like so. Now I'm going to select these. Loop it around and I'm going to cut them out. Okay? So now let's get a new mesh item and let's paste them back in. Now we have this little round beveled edge. So let's go ahead and run our Thicken tool on it. Like so. Not too bad. Now let's scale it out a little. Make it a little thicker. Okay. Now let's go ahead and bring back in our other mesh item. Like so. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and cut this out 
post it, paste it back in our other layer. I'm going to select it. And we'll scale it up a little. Like so. And we'll move our glass back. Now we have this lip going around our so-called glass window. Okay, so I'm going to run the thicken tool on this and click just once. Okay, and what that does is that'll give me a backside. Okay, so let me adjust the size of this a little bit. I don't like how that thicken tool done my geometry there. That's looking a little better. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, now we got our lip. So, our next part we need to do is we need to connect that to our hull here. So, actually, I'm going to leave that for another video. So let's go ahead and duplicate this over. Let's mirror this. Let's go ahead and mirror this over. I'm just checking everything out here to see what it looks like. I know I'm not too worried about back here because this part of the model isn't going to be viewed. We're not going to be seeing this at all. So I'm not really worried about my geometry poking through there. Okay, so let's go ahead and mirror this over. So let's go to our duplicate tab. Let's go to mirror, instance mirror, and we'll mirror it on the Z. And we'll do it right in the center here. And we can back it up a little. Trying to make the distance on both sides about equal. And that's looking pretty close. Okay, now we have our little sides going on there. So let's go ahead and bring back in this other geometry. And let's take. Let's take it and let's take it into polygon mode. Let's bevel the whole thing like so. Let's select the outer loop and we'll cut it out and we'll paste it back in. I'm going to select it. I'm going to run the thicken tool on it like so. That kind of gives us our little edge for our glass there, as you can see. Now we have our top part of our glass. And we can give this a material later, our glass material. Now in our next video, we're going to go in and connect these with the little rollers that go through this track. And then the one after that, we'll start on this right here, which is going to be the seat. And also, we may go in and have a rod going from here to here just to just so this won't be floating in midair or I might somehow connect it up to the seat I haven't decided yet so uh, there's that and we will see you in the next video